If you still don't know what NFTs are and which one are the hottest on the market right now, then stay tuned. Following content is for entertainment purposes only. The Fake Night Show is classed as satire and not factual information. We may address real life events through satire, but only to entertain our audience. Welcome to the Fake Night Show Meme Review, my dudes. Your most unreliable source for memes. Today's episode, we have some very interesting information for you. So pay attention. Today's episode will bring you to your knees. This episode, we're going to talk about one of the most recent hypes, STDs. I thought I had conjunctivitis, as you can see here, but it actually turned out to be gonorrhea in my eye. There it is. Lovely. <laughs> Thanks, lovely young lady. You should probably stop to participate in bukake parties. Anyways, you guys are lucky because I already have a lot of experience with STDs. As a proof, I have also taken my test, which will surely shock you as much as it shocked my girlfriend. Because Zhang Yao Kang. Oh, NFTs, not STDs. <laughs> You're an idiot. Well, it seems that I've just misread. But don't worry, I will give you an insight. Just let me have a quick read about NFTs. Now I know a lot about NFTs. So if the virtual de developments still scare you, don't worry, I will fit you in. Okay, so an NFT is a non fungible token based on the blockchain. It's a digital piece of art that's unique and can't be replaced with something else. Did you guys see the Matrix NFT thing that they did for Resurrections just a couple days ago? They, no. um, they made uh, NFTs for the new movie and there were like 100,000 of them and the site broke like in the first few hours because there were over 300,000 people in the queue trying to buy these NFTs for $50. Um, and so like when you think about the concept of digital scarcity and things that are, you know, they can't be copied. That are easily reproduced. <laughs> well, but they're not the same, right? It's yeah, can you? You might be laughing now, but NFTs can really be anything digital. As drawings, music, tweets, even memes can be NFTs. And all of the people are currently jumping on the bandwagon and completely freaking out. Paris Hilton, Justin Bieber, Lionel Messi, Gary Wee, Serena Williams, Karim Abdul-Jabbar, Ronald McDonald, Forrest Gump, even crazy Ozzy Osbourne has some NFTs. Are you sober now? No, no, yeah, yeah. I'm never, but I, I, I'm not The fear of missing out is real, because every day we get more and more crazy success stories featuring NFTs while other children still have only nonsense in their heads. Oh my God. What? No. A 12-year-old boy from London has made about 290,000 pounds during his school holidays after creating a series of pixelated artworks called Weird Whales and selling them as NFTs. Have you ever thought about your farts being some kind of art?
Brooklyn-based film director Alex Ramirez is making money out of his farts. The 36-year-old director has been recording the sounds of his flatulence and a year later has compiled his fart sounds into a 52-minute symphony. Now he offers the NFT farts for sale and as a fart calendar on the OpenSea marketplace. And there's still so many crazy NFT success stories left. For example, the Huma Pepe that sold for $320,000. Even Bad Luck Brian got finally lucky because he was able to sell his meme as an NFT. Or all these anime waifu NFTs. It seems like there are NFTs for everyone and for every taste. So, are you excited now, my dudes? Maybe some of you will say, Hey, unnamed fake night show host, I don't have a good PC, I can't join the NFT game. But you're lucky today, I already own a few NFTs myself. And I will tell you the trick how you can get some without spending thousands of dollars. Just take screenshots. It's very simple, you just have to... When everyone's like, this is such... You can just right click and save it and then I own it. I'm like, ironically, that's the argument for the blockchain. You can easily take a photo outside a hot nightclub next to an expensive car and try to make pretend it's yours. People do it all the time. You can time. easily borrow your friend's watch, put it on, take a photo and make pretend it's yours. People do it all the time. People have paid companies to, for the setting of a private plane for the photo to flex on the gram. What's ironic yeah. is the way the world is now is actually fake. The blockchain's not. Fuck you, Gary. Even if the trick shouldn't work, at least by taking screenshots, you have the p possibility to annoy some jerks. You think it's funny to take screenshots of people's NFTs, huh? Property theft is a joke to you. I'll have you know that the blockchain doesn't lie. I own it. Even if you save it, it's my property. You are mad that you don't own the art that I own. Delete that screenshot. Now it's your turn again, my dudes. What do you think of NFTs? Are you already in the NFT game? Or would you rather collect STDs? My name is... Please welcome Robert Faggot. Faggot is rather an odd name. Yeah, you know, it is yeah. an odd name. And this is the Fake Net Show, your most unreliable source for news. Thanks for watching. Ich bin ein Trottel. So. So.